So here's a quick tutorial to take you through the planning um, the planning feature of the business suite. So um, I think this is pretty cool, especially for small business owners that um, you know don't have a lot of time and um, aren't working with agencies to help them just manage and plan their social media. So um, and this is a free tool. You should have access to it by now. Most people do. <laughs> Um, in, in true Facebook fashion, of course, um, they rolled it out slowly. So some people had access for a while, but it seems like now everyone with the business page has access to the um, Facebook business suite. So anyways, so how you access it is you're going to log into your Facebook business suite through business.facebook.com. You'll lose your regular personal Facebook login to get in there. Once you're in here, click on the planner. And the planner is just basically a way that you can um, plan out what you want to do, um, what kind of social you want to post for the month. So um, just to go through sort of the logistics of it, so you can view a week at a time, a month at a time. You can look at January, you can look at November, whatever you want easily, just move back and forth between these um, these arrows. You can also um, uh, decide what content type you want to view. So I'm going to view like all the posts that I've scheduled or that have posted. Um, I want to view the stories or I want to view the ads that I've run. Um, next, you can just do um, Facebook so you can see what's scheduled or what's been posted on Facebook. You can also see what's been posted on Instagram. In the right hand corner, you have a create button. And if you go on the, the blue arrow button, you'll see create a post, create a story, create an ad. Um, so this is really awesome because you can post directly to your um, business Facebook page, your business Instagram page for both feed posts and story posts. Um, I would stay away from the create an ad. I, I don't love the create an ad feature um, and I'll get into that later, but um, you can, I would prefer that you use your business manager if you know how. Um, it's a bit confusing because for some reason they're two different products and I'm, I'm not completely, I don't completely understand that other than the create an ad, they've sort of simplified and you have a lot less um, ability to um, control placements and targeting and stuff like that. So anyways, so um, I'll just show you really quick when you create a post, so you'll create a post and here, um, wherever you, whichever platform you want to schedule it to, or if you want to schedule it to both, you can actually do, because a lot of times what happens is you have the same video or the same image and you're going to use it on both Facebook and Instagram, but you have different copy because on every platform you communicate just a tiny bit different, right? So a lot of times the copy doesn't work for both platforms. So for here, I'm gonna I'm gonna select Facebook and Instagram. Now, if you're gonna use the same text on both, like if you don't have tags or whatever, um, then you could just have one set of copy for both platform that works. But if you wanna customize, if you go over here to your right, if you click on Facebook, you can write the copy for Facebook. And if you click on Instagram, you can write the copy for Instagram. And I think that's awesome <laughs> because it's often very different. The other cool thing is I noticed here, and I haven't tested this as far as to see, but I'm sure it, it works just fine. You can search for um, hashtags. So it's basically a built-in hashtag generator um, for both um, Instagram and Facebook. Um, we personally have moved a little bit away from using hashtags on Facebook because it really didn't see much benefit. And even on Instagram lately, you just don't see the benefit of the hashtags like you did in the olden days, in the olden days, like three years ago. Um, so we don't use as many um, as we used to. Um, in, in the past, we would use 30 hashtags. Now um, we're seeing that five five delivers the same, the same results. It also has uh, emojis built in, which I think is really nice as well, um, built right into the platform. And then you go over here, um, so you would add your media here, or you can create your video, you can add location tags. If you're doing shopping, you would see an option to add your shopping tags. Um, the other cool thing is you can um, actually schedule and upload up to 10 photos for Instagram, which is great for the carousel post. Um, most of your third-party platforms don't allow you to um, schedule a post um, with more than one image at a time, so you usually have to do that manually or do some kind of like push notifications. So this is really cool. Um, another cool thing here is the optimal times. So Facebook has um, optimal times now um, for you to schedule when when they're saying that on your page is the most traffic, right? So for every business, everyone always asks that. What's the optimal time to put? I don't know. 
Um, it depends on your customer and what they do in the activity on your Facebook page. Just like, when should I send my email? I mean, we can guess, but the truth is, is it all depends on your open rate, your clientele, and you kind of have to study that and test and see what delivers the best results. So anyways, Facebook has an idea of when the people are actually engaging and viewing your page um, based on their trends and stuff. And so here they would, um, they'll suggest optimal times for your, both your Facebook and your Instagram. So I think that's pretty cool when you select the different dates and it'll give you the um, suggested time. So you can actually take care of scheduling both your Instagram and your Facebook at the same time. So no excuses, guys. Get that content posted. So um, the other thing is now you can actually schedule your stories. Now it's a little limited. Um, so you have to upload your media um, here. And I would suggest for your stories, use Canva or another design tool so that you have the stories exactly the way you want. Because if you're going to schedule it, it's not going to have, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles in here. So like, for example, you can crop, you can add a little bit of text and you can add a sticker, but there's no link sticker as of right now. Maybe that'll change um, uh, in the next you know, few months or whatever. And then this swipe up to link is supposed to work on accounts that have 10,000 or more, but I tested it on a client with 10,000 or more and it does not work um, or it didn't for me. It might for you. Um, but I'm hoping at some point they will bring that in because you can actually schedule your stories here, optimal time, same way, and schedule it and not have to worry about getting them posted. Um, if, for example, you have a post like this where you have an order now button on, you would still need to do that manually, obviously, because you're not going to be able to click off to the link. And all the Instagrams now have the ability for a link sticker so that you can, you know, send business to your your um your websites and stuff. So anyways, um, so, but I still think regardless, this is a great feature and a great time saver for businesses and a good way to get the word out and stuff. So the other cool thing about the planner that I like is um, this thing called moments. So most businesses have, you know, certain things like, you know, in Santa Monica in February or, you know, January, February, we do most loved and it happens the same time every year. You know, you have you know, gift card sales and party sales and all those things, the things that you have all throughout the year. So you can actually create, you can use this like a little marketing calendar and you can create like, hey, during this time I need to create a post to promote, you know, my Black Friday sale or I need to, you know, start doing private party posts on, on these certain dates or whatever. And so then you can kind of just serve as a reminder um, of what items you want to post. Um, and then also Facebook just pulls about um, holidays and stuff um, that might be good to um, create content about like all the social media ho holidays, excuse me, like the National Motivation and Inspiration Days and National Trivia Days and, and all the things <laughs> that give you ideas around um, National Chocolate Cake Day. Um, and you can actually go ahead and create posts right directly from the moment. So I think that is pretty excellent. Um, so anyways, I hope that was helpful and I hope that um, this planner can help you start to plan and be more consistent with your social media without it feeling like such a, a crazy task to take care of. Thank you so much.